Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Tim, and I am back with another video for you because I think on my last video with how to record Clubhouse that there was some confusion. So I kind of wanted to show you how this happened from nuts to bolts. Uh, so we're going to do kind of a screen recording uh, as well so you can see exactly what we are doing. And listen, I wish that I could take all the credit for this. Uh, but like I said in the other video, the problem I was having was some latency issues. So I got in contact with my dear friend, Millie Vasquez, who is one half of the awesome podcast, Change by Degrees, which if you haven't subscribed to it, make sure you do it. It comes out every Thursday. They are just a great group of people. Uh, and also, Millie is just an awesome person. So if you were part of one of my clubhouse rooms, you heard me give her a shout out on her birthday. She was in the room, but she wasn't listening. I don't know why, super lame. But enough about me and rambling about Clubhouse. I'm super excited that you guys have been watching this. So this is gonna be kind of part two of the first video. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring on Millie. Hey everyone, it's Millie, and uh, I'm here to help you out on the DAW side of things from whatever you're using to record the audio. If you have your interface set up, the right cables just like Tim showed you, um, you're going to go and see an empty screen like so. We're using Logic, I prefer Logic, but it works on any DAW, and what he's already explained is that input one here that you see after your interface is connected and you can see your input and output is a scarlet, our input one is your phone. So you're going to select that and create the track on Logic and many other DAWs, it'll automatically enable input monitoring and this is where your latency problem is probably coming from. So you want to disable that because we want to monitor our audio using the Scarlet and not Logic um, for both things. So after you have your phone track set up, you're going to open a new track and you're gonna select the second input, which would be the mic and what um, Tim showed you. So you create your second track, you disable input monitoring, and when you record enable both, you can press record without any click, and you'll see both coming in. Right now we have another um, interface set up to record audio, but uh, your first track will be the phone, and the second track would be your microphone. And what I want you to do is adjust your gain on each of those so that when you connect your headphones to the Scarlett, again, you're not monitoring via Logic or whatever DAW you're using, you have a balanced input of your phone audio and your microphone audio. And that should be setting you up for success, no latency, I hope that that works for everyone. Um, one final point I wanted to make is that sometimes your settings on your DAW will also be different. So if it doesn't automatically switch to having your input and output device to be the interface, you go to your settings and logic, you can just pull them up, not under general, but under audio, you'll see devices and you can choose um, your Scarlett 2i2 because if not, sometimes your output device will be the MacBook Pro speakers and that'll mess things up because again, you're gonna run into latency if you're not letting your output go to the Scarlett. So once again, you switch back to the Scarlett 2i2, press apply, it'll switch your audio over and you should be set up for success. So I hope that works for everyone and if not, you have any questions, send them my way and um, or Tim's way and I'll help answer them. So hopefully that helps. Just that simple, guys. It's really not that simple since everyone's kind of struggling with it, uh, including myself. But yeah, that's how I'm recording my audio and getting uh, my mic from the SM7B to my Scarlett and my phone to the Scarlett to Logic to record. Uh, and one other small note that we didn't uh, mention in this video, because uh, I wanted to make sure that we understood uh, I'm working for from an iPhone 12 Max Pro or iPhone 12 Pro Max, whatever it's called, super lame names, just call it the biggest iPhone uh, that's available. And I'm certain that when we're connecting the iPhone that is acting as both an input and an output, so that way um, I'm able to get route my mic back to the phone. So yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask and I will make sure that we try and answer them for you. But uh, I appreciate it guys. Thanks a lot and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.